fight. It's a dead machine. It must be a bristleback. Maybe airplane must be chain scrape. Drew said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear too. Outlander approaching. Is that the savior? Wanna come in, savior? Welcome to Chain Scrape, savior. Open up, guys. Jar of orders. Good enough for me. doing here uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump it's nice to see you too and not a moment too soon come on I damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place yeah I heard machines work stoppage oh those are just the latest malfunctions chain scrapes always been a few tools short of a kit and right there is the biggest tool of all not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland? You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story. Best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah. Of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. Gotta move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. This old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. This should be useful. Now I just need to find Aaron and help him clear the bristlebacks. Not even the savior needs some battle practice. We are on the same side here, Ola. The Brooklyn Ready to put fire in? Find the right cauldron. Could learn how to override this machine. This whole area is rigged with trip wires. Hey, you! Make it worth your while if you kill these scroungers. 
It's always something. Hold tight! I'll see what I can do! Try luring them into the tripwire. Forge you showed up. Tripwire's handy, but Sheen Hutton's a youngin's game. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper like. I see you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Down that bristleback, headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass. As they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the daunt, you're gonna want a tripcaster. Not just any tripcaster. One of my make, free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. Uh, been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, uh, well, accidents. Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> well, like someone. I don't follow. There's this sack of wet dirt, Olvind. Because he's the Elderman of Chain Scrape. I'd have the town treating him as such. <laughs> Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. Kept pressing for the Olven discount. I said no, he didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. Cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got into all sorts of trouble. There was this one time that- Anything about the bristlebacks? No. Karn said true. He just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the Vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. <laughs> I should get going. Thanks. For the tripcaster. While well, you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a tripcaster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So Aaron headed south. I should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Trucks. Maybe errands and the vanguards. His bristlebacks are everywhere.
Sounds like someone's kind of a fight. Handle the rest. Those bristlebacks have acid canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. You might, you might have to oh, meet me halfway here. Ah! God. Oh. <laughs> Caught me at my best, as usual. Well, you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this? Ah, who needs ribs, huh? <laughs> oh. oh. I'm good. I'm good. Huh. Okay, well, I, I know you didn't come all the way to the Daunt just to watch me get wrecked. So what's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Erend, what I did at the Spire... What we did... It didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's still more to do. Really? <laughs> well, that's great! I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But, but hey, what, whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Oh. Aaron, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. Couple of days rest, if that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's... It's better if I do it alone. Alone? Uh, that figures. Erin! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. I don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Huh. Listen, I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest. Studious Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron Light. 
I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. Now, after the Battle of the Spire, when you, you took off, you left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? Aaron, look. I'm sorry it wasn't easy for you when I left. And I know it's not easy now, but... What I've been doing... Life on Earth is in danger. And only I can save it. Your life on Earth? Yeah. Everything dies unless I succeed. Well, then let me help. Oh. You can't. There's no machine to fight, no bad guy to kill. What I've got to do, I... I can't even explain it. Not even to people I care about. Oh, so much for being useful. Okay. Errand! By the forge. I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no, hey, you're needed elsewhere. Obviously. We'll make it without you. Here's the quarry Thurlis mentioned.
safe. Stranger, come on over here. We gotta talk. I don't know what Anora's doing out here, but consider yourself old. We tried to hold off and wait for the Vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people. But we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work. But Chain Scrape's whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. You need the whistle to get back to work? Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Olven blows that thing. Cause if we work without his say-so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Olven holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Olven's claim, digging out stone to show our barren light. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a dawn before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. At least not yet. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Valley should be safe enough to travel. I'll go give Wadis the good news. Then maybe this embassy can finally happen. until it's safe. Don't have to tell me twice. Now that's not... Time to give Wadis to Baron Light. Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when said... When i cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay? Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. Well, I shall not be moving anywhere until the whistle has sounded. If it is not safe for them, then it is not safe for me. <sighs> Fine. I'll make sure the whistle gets blown, and then I'll be back. Hear that? We're not leaving yet. Unpack the cart! No. I'll be right back. Don't get comfortable. As if that were possible here. Petra mentioned Olvind is supposed to be in charge around here. Guess I should talk to him to get the whistle blown. I know you see me. I'll have you know I am the smartest man. We are on the same side here, Olvind. What do you want, Olvind? Some kind of payment. My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freeholder. 
at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the Magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Ah! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh... Burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osram lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osorum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. If Chain Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course! You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ha! Ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chain Scrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder, and its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. You said you founded Chainscrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in barren light shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chainscrape is what it is thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. No, you blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay- Either you do it now or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it. Friends, gather around. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated. You. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business. Terrific. Yay. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah. That's where I like it. Yeah. Woo. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah, I guess I do. Uh, 
Now the chance grabs back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. You heard the whistle. Time to go. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Light, Wadis. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. Done, the embassy can finally get underway. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy at backup. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the dawn some more first. And maybe take Petra up on that drink. <laughs> <laughs> 